Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today for interior design tips and inspiration. Today we are going to talk about a really easy DIY that you can do for your house as a part of our affordable home decor and styling series. Now I'm not like a huge DIYer. If something's pretty easy then I will give it a try and so this is not a super hard DIY. This is pretty simple. So what I want to talk to you about today is creating your own coasters or pot holders. So this is a pot holder that we have at my house. I'm pretty sure this was just made at like a ceramic shop and we painted it and they glazed it for us. So this is like a six by six square that you can just put a hot pot on. It doesn't have like anything crazy on the back, but I was thinking that how much does that look like a tile? And so today we're gonna talk about how to use tile samples or if you have extra tile and turn that into something that you can use in your home. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go find tile that you can use for this project. Now, if you're wanting to make coasters, I would suggest something around the four by four or five by five range. Five by five will definitely give you like a bigger, chunkier, pretty large coaster and four by four is gonna be about the regular size of a coaster. One of my favorite places to find a tile is Bedrosians. So if you don't know about Bedrosians already, I will show you a little bit about what they have. They have some really cute four x four tiles that you could definitely use for coasters. I personally love their Otif Rice, Rhodes Atlantic and Rhodes Caviar tiles, but they have those tiles in a four by four. They also have some more like plain, not so like patterned and decorative tiles. They have some that look like marble. If you're wanting marble coasters, this is a super easy way to do so. It's cool because you can definitely mix and match these. So you might like a white marble and a black marble. So you can do like two of each for coasters or something like that. Or you can just find a line of tile and they kind of all are different, but have similar aspects to them, whether that's in style or color or whatever that looks like. So I think it's a super fun way to make coasters because you can kind of add your own personality and tailor it towards you. How you can go ahead and get these tile samples. So a lot of places you can just order samples from their website or go into store and grab them. Some places will charge you, some won't. Kind of depends on the sample, but you want to make sure that you probably have a full size sample or that it's a sample that is large enough to be like a coaster or a pot holder. If there's like larger format tiles, they won't always give you a sample that is that size. They might give you a smaller size, but the size that they give you might be perfect for what you're trying to do. But because you're probably going to want multiple coasters, maybe you just want one pot holder, that might be an option. But if you're wanting multiple of these, then you might need to actually buy them. So you might buy like one square foot of this tile. It shouldn't be too expensive, like definitely under 20 bucks. You might also consider like using a backsplash tile instead of a regular tile. Again, kind of depending on the size and the style that you're going for, that might work for you. So go ahead and look around at different options that you have. Like I said, I love Bedrosians, but you could easily go to a Lowe's or a Home Depot and find similar things that could work for your project. One thing that you will want to make sure if you're using this as like a pot holder is to make sure that your cooking stuff can actually go on this and it won't break. That is super important. When you are at your Lowe's or Bedrosians or wherever you're finding that tile, just ask them, how does this do with heat? How does this do with water? Some things will be better than others. So just make sure that you talk to the specialist or to whoever is helping you and they should be able to answer all those questions very easily. For the coasters, it's not going to matter quite as much. Will it have some like water exposure? Yes, but it's not like it's going to be sitting in a puddle of water. That won't really have a heat or a water concern. But for the pot holder, I would definitely make sure to ask about the heat aspect because it'd be really sad if you use this the first time, put your hot pot on it, and then it completely broke. Now that you have the tile samples or the tile that you're going to be using, the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is probably put something on the back of it so it doesn't scratch 
wherever you're putting it. So like the back of this one is, is all ceramic. Usually what we do is like we'll put a towel or something underneath and when we serve it just so it doesn't scratch things, but we want to avoid that. So go ahead and like find some felt or you can also just like adhere the little felt things that you put underneath chairs. Either of those options will work. The felt by itself will probably be a little bit lower profile and give it more of like an actual coaster feel, but you can easily use those little like felt or the plastic things. And depending on what method you wanna do this in, you might adhere it different ways. I'm sure most of the time that you can literally just use a hot glue gun and put it on and you are good to go. That is the very simple, easy way to put together a coaster or a hot pot. And it's really pretty because like this one, like I said, we just painted this at like a ceramic shop. So it's kind of goofy. If you want like a very aesthetically pleasing pot holder. Like I said, they have like marble tile and different things that are more elevated and more stone-like that will kind of give an elegance and a luxurious feel to your kitchen or to your coasters by using those materials. Kind of just an elevated look. If you try this out, please let me know. Send me a picture on Instagram at Habitat Interiors Co. I'd love to see how this works out for you and any feedback or places that you found that have good tile for this project. I hope you're enjoying this series about affordable home decor and styling. I think that this is a great addition to this series and is a fun DIY project. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video and I hope to catch you next time.